G'day, this is Jason here from One Hour Forex, and today is December the 8th, 2011. Um, let's look right at the setups here. Here was our opening bar for 2 a.m. in the morning. Okay, there was no trade on this on this bar. Okay, then this one opened up. Okay, and uh, basically went up. And and it sold off this resistance right here, okay, just like this one did. Came back down and turned red. So you would have got short right there, okay, at 34.12. Did it go anywhere? No. Um, but let's go to the 15 minute now, only to see if it was a trade. Do I use the 15 minute to to trade the system or the five minute? No, I don't. And please, all these people who are sending me emails saying, oh, I have to look at the 15 and the 5 too, blah, blah, blah. No, it has nothing to do with the, the 5 and the 15. The only reason I go on that time frame is to show you if there was a trade or not in the first 45 minutes of the candle. So let's go to the 15 now. Hold on. No, let me put a line here first. Right here, okay? Let's go to the 15 and let's see. Let's take the auto scroll off and let's see if there was a trade. Okay? So when it turned red was right here. And guess what? That was in the last 15 minutes of the hour. So there was no trade on there. Okay? There was no trade, ladies and gentlemen. So there was no trade at all in the UK session and there was only one trade today in the US session okay so there was there was no trade on this candle two o'clock there was none on this three o'clock because when it finally came back down and turned red it was quarter to four in the morning okay there was no trade on two o'clock or three o'clock and the four o'clock there was no trade here either even if it opened up and went to here, if it would have went to here and came back down quick enough, it still wouldn't have been no trade. And do you want to know why? Because from your entry right here to the pivot, it was only six pips. You need 10 pips from the entry to your nearest target. So there was no trade at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, or 4 o'clock. Okay? So now let's look at this wild, crazy situation that happened here today. Okay? This candle here that opened up, ran up with the news, came back down and turned red, okay? Right there. There was no trade on that either. Why? Because when it came back down and turned red, let's go to look at the 15 minute, okay? When it came back down, see right here, and turned red after it ran up from the news, it was in the last 15 minutes of the hour. There was no trade there, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Let's go back now to the hour. No trade on the 8 o'clock bar. And here's the 9 o'clock bar. There was no trade on that either because it didn't open up and come up. If it would have came up and bounced off the pivot, came back down and turned red, yes, there would have been a trade there because your entry would have been there and you had 18 pips to S1. But that did not happen. It just opened up and fell. So there was no trade on the 9 o'clock either. But where is the trade? I'm sure you can see it. It's right here, ladies and gentlemen. It opened up here, came down, okay, then went back up, almost touched S2, came back and turned red, okay? So, your entry would have been to sell right there. Your target would have been at this low, right here where it closed, okay? It almost went to 133 and the S3, but it didn't do it, okay? So, let's see. Your entry would have been right there. You would have made 15 pips on that trade. So sorry to say there was no trades in the UK, there was only one trade in the US, and it was for 15 pips, and it was a winner if you followed my rules diligently. Okay, thank you very much for watching, you have a great day, we'll see you tomorrow on Friday.